Hey guys, how's it going? This is Wolfbat and welcome to a little cheat engine tutorial that I'm making specifically for my WarCamp event, but just in general so that, you know, people know exactly what cheat engine is, what it can do, and how to use it responsibly and safely. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions about cheat engine, uh, you know, that only really bad people use it and they use it for nefarious purposes, but just like a kitchen knife or a car or a gunpowder or anything really, it's a tool and it can be used to destroy and to mess someone up, but it can also be used to create things and to build things. Um, I'm not at all a cheat engine expert, I know the very basics. Uh, all. The credit goes to the people who actually uh, made the table for Cheat Engine, the people in, at the Grant Archives who have been digging to the files and creating scripts, they get all the credit. I'm literally just the basic script kitty who just knows how to like do very basic stuff. But that's really all you need to create builds quickly uh, and not spend hours just grinding for the equipment or the souls. So now that we got that out of the way, let me just actually tell you how to, how to use Cheat Engine. So first of all, go download Cheat Engine. I recommend Cheat Engine 6.6 .6 because the later version 6.7 has some glitches with the actual table. So just go ahead and use the link that I will provide on the description and download Cheat Engine 6.6. .6. That is the software that you're going to be using. After you download that, get over to the second link that I'm providing so that you can download the actual Cheat Engine table for Dark Souls 3. That has all the actual scripts and like options for you to do. Besides the the download link, there's a lot of like good good information for you to to read here. I, I highly recommend you do read it. But uh, if not, you can just kind of skip to what I'm gonna do in this video, and you should be just fine. Now that you have both things um, downloaded, go ahead and boot up your game um, and start a new character. For example, here's just a, a regular test. I I like deprived because then I can really just choose whatever. Soul level, and for my war camp video uh, this week, you probably should uh, start uh, a deprived character. So, anyway, to start the character, uh, you can also give yourself any sort of um, like gift, burial gift. I forgot to do that myself, but uh, it will make this a little bit faster because now I have to go get a i gonna go get a soul over here, unless this guy dropped a soul. No, he did not. Okay. So anyway, now that you have one item, that's pretty much all you need to get started. So after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and open your cheat engine, 6.6, .6, which is this thing. After you do that, you're gonna see this little icon blinking. Click that, and click on your Dark Souls 3.exe process. That's basically just allowing Cheat Engine to modify things in your game. So keep current list, yes. Now, before you do really anything in Cheat Engine, make sure that you are offline in game. And if you want to be safer, you can be offline in Steam as well. As you can see, I cannot write any messages. It's grayed out. That means I am offline in, um, in the game, so I should be safe. So now what you want to do is open the table. And you have a lot of options. For now, all we're really going to focus on is the helpers tab. You click on helpers, and on blue is going to be an item swap. This is your bread and butter right here. So as you can see, all these values, you don't really have to pay much attention to them except this one right here. Right now, it's just question marks because you haven't really given the table anything to swap. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this the soul of a deserted corpse that we just picked up. We're going to drop it, and you're going to see that it's going to show up here. So there's quantity 1, soul of a deserted corpse, and here's the value. What you want to change out of all of this is the item ID, which is this value. So what you can do is click on show helper, and just type what item. So I want soul of a great champion. So here we got it. Now that you got, you click this, you, you uh, click on copy item ID. You can also just manually copy this item, but I suggest just, you know, to avoid any confusion, just click copy, copy item ID, and then just double click here, and what value to change this to, just paste that item. Now, as you can see, it changed to Silver Great Champion. Now, give yourself as many of these as you want. Uh, it can be anywhere from 1 to probably 999. Uh, you will only be able to carry 
so many, but the rest will go in your box. So um, for a level 120, I don't know, I'm just going to give myself 400 just in case. Go back into your game, and now this item that you dropped will be all the souls, all the 400 souls. So now you have pretty much all the souls you're really going to need at all for, for any build you want to make. So now you got that, you gotta keep doing this pretty much. Um, so I'm just gonna drop, well, I'm gonna use one I guess. I'm gonna drop one soul, and now I just want embers, because I like using embers for any sort of... So you can use pretty much any ember you want. Uh, let's just use, I guess, the second one. Good way to know is if this item name is like a number or something strange, you might not want to use that item. You know, just just search one that just says Ember. So I'm just gonna give the same. I'm gonna give myself 200 of these. Okay, so you see this was the wrong item ID that I used. For some reason, it does not actually let me pick it up. So all I gotta do is change it. And now let me pick it up. So I guess, lesson learned, just choose the very first ember and you should be okay. So now you just wanna drop, if you wanna give yourself equipment, just drop a bunch of embers. You have to drop, drop them one by one. You cannot just drop 20 because every ember needs to be like its specific item on the ground. So I'm just gonna drop about 15, 14 to 15. Okay, so now I have all these items on the ground. And I can just swap them for anything I want. So let's say I want the split leaf. For anything that's um, an item from any of the DLCs, you will have to go online. So you can just put ringed city item IDs. I will also link this in the description to save you a little bit of the hassle. But basically all the item IDs are right here. Because some of the really good items are, you know, in the Rain City DLC. So, let's say I just want to give myself a weapon. So I want to give myself this Split Leaf Greatsword. You copy that item and the same way you did it before, you just paste it on this item ID value. It should pop up as, this, uh, as a Split Leaf Greatsword, so that's cool. And as soon as you pick up the first one, you get the Split Leaf. Now you don't have to continue dropping embers since you already drop them. It'll immediately choose the next ember on the ground. Uh, so let's say I want the Katarina set. So I can just, you know, copy the helmet. Every time you copy it, you have to pick up the item because otherwise you, you'll just be changing the item on the ground over and over. So you do have to pick it up every time you change it so that it works. Now let's get the gauntlets. And finally, the leggings, right? So now you have your full armor set. Another thing you might want to do is give yourself uh, upgrade things. Now, upgrade materials can be kind of iffy. Um, I've never really been banned for giving myself upgrade materials while I'm offline. Uh, so you can you can probably definitely do that. Um, I like giving myself undead bone charms, undead, uh, sorry, bone shards, because, you know, I want my Estus to be at full. And here you can just switch it to 10, because you want 10 of them so that you can fully upgrade. So as you can see, I got 10 of these. You can do the same for your Estus shards, right here, and give yourself 15 of those. And pretty much anything you want to give yourself, as long as it's not key items that are, like, you know, needed to progress on your very first playthrough. For example, the Storm Ruler. You should not give yourself the Storm Ruler. But any consumable, you know, if you want uh, green moss, you can definitely give yourself tons of those. There's absolutely no problem with that. If you want to give yourself arrows, bolts, any consumable at all, it's, you know, fully okay, as well as rings, because you do want to give yourself, you know, the best rings that you can. And use this same, um, like, search option, so let's say I want the Hornet ring. 
And this is going to be a good example where there's two. See, there's two of these. Now, the first one doesn't have any letters. When I copy it over here, you're going to see that this also creates a number. It doesn't create a name. You want to try to stay away from that. So use the other ID. And now you can see that it says Hornet Ring. And I should have absolutely no problem picking it up. So I got the Hornet Ring. You know, all of these items, they're not glitched or hacked or anything. They're exactly the same items that are in the game. They do not flag your account at all. You know, you can just give yourself any item that already exists in the game. You can also give yourself items that are infused and they're fine. Let's say I want to give myself a dark longsword. You can just, you know, copy that. Done. And see, it gives me a name. That is great. And this item is completely legit. You can totally use it. Um, other than that, you know, you obviously want to access as many bonfires as you can. So this is where we're going to go to scripts. On scripts, there's a lot of stuff. If you want to run to a certain place and you don't want to get, you know, killed, you can just... There's two types of script, scripts, ASM and Lua. Just focus on ASM. That's kind of where all the basic stuff is. Protection, you get unlimited iframes, prevent one hit death, status effects, no fault damage. Just simply click on the ones you want. It'll give you that. Um, some of these things could flag you online. They will not do that offline. Um, access all bonfires is fairly safe to use as well as upgrades need no materials. So instead of dropping yourself like Titanite and stuff, which could potentially flag you, just use the script and it'll be just fine. You can also um, use Access All Shop Inventory offline and you can buy anything from the handmaiden, like anything at all that you could possibly sell out of any ashes. Uh, if you like don't want to continue swapping or it's just quicker or whatever. Um, other than that, you can just ignore everything else for making your build. You don't really need any other script. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it guys. Um, just be safe, do all of this offline, and turn everything off before quitting your game. So just make sure that whatever you open, like all the scripts, make sure that they're all unclicked. And the same with helpers, just make sure that you know all the item swap stuff is unclicked. And once you do that, you can just simply, like, once you get all the items that you need, all the rings, all the armor, all the weapons, all the consumables, all the souls that you're going to need, simply close out the cheat engine uh, and level yourself up and, you know, do whatever you got to do. And when you're ready and when you have no cheat engine script enabled, very important, no cheat engine script enabled, you can finally go online and you will not get back. I can almost guarantee it. Uh, so just be safe if you have any questions please hit me up in discord or comment on the video I will try my best to help you and if you don't do not feel comfortable and you just need like a weapon dropped to you or maybe a couple of souls or anything like that also you can ask me to do that for you I will certainly um, love to help you I will drop whatever you need uh, I am busy most of the day during the week but you know at night I can certainly find a, a time to help you so yeah guys, you know, I hope you enjoyed the tournament, I hope you enjoyed this little guide and that it's useful to you. I do not condone any sort of cheat engine usage that is not to create builds, right? YouTube comments, someone's commenting. Uh, to create builds, uh, sorry, to create scripts that is damaging to other people's games or that gives unfair advantages. This is simply enabling you to create a build quickly so that you can, you know, try different cosplays or try different builds. Plenty or almost all of the content creators for Dark Souls use it and for a good reason because they don't have time to run through the game every time and neither should you have to. So again, any, any question you have, please hit me up and I hope you guys have a great one. Until next time.